now that we have our shear and bending moment uh, equations, we can start to think about drawing the shear and bending moment diagram. Uh, so for section A and B, just a reminder of what we had, uh, the equations were shear force equals 12 minus 8x, and the bending moment was 12x minus 4x squared. And for section BC, uh, where we came from the right hand side and we used x dash, we have the shear force equals 8 times x dash, and the bending moment equation was minus 4x dash squared. Okay, so to draw our diagram, let's draw up some um, axes. On the vertical axis, uh, we have the shear, internal shear force, so we'll do that one first. So at um, x equals 0, we had the shear force equal to 12, so we can plot that. At x equals 4, at point B, we had uh, the shear force equal to minus 20 kilonewtons, so plot that down there, and we can see that this is uh, an equation in just x to the power 1, so a linear equation, so that will be a straight line between those two points. Okay, so now looking at section BC, if we start with x dash equals 2, um, that gives us the shear force equals 16 kilonewtons, so we've plotted that there, and for x dash equals 0, we get V equals 0, okay, and once again, we have uh, a linear equation here, so we should expect a straight line, or we will have a straight line between these two points, and that's what we can draw on our shear force diagram. Um, just note here that we have a step change in the, the shear force diagram, because we have a force here of 36 kilonewtons, so what we should expect to see in our shear force diagram is a step change of 36 kilonewtons, right, which is what we've got here. So minus 20 up to 16 is a step change of 36. Okay, so now let's consider the bending moment equation. So we'll have, uh, again, on our vertical axis, the bending moment uh, in kilonewton metres, and we'll do the same thing again. We'll start by looking at, um, starting from the left-hand side, x equals zero, and if we substitute that into our bending moment equation, we get, of course, m equals zero. And then at um, point B, x is equal to four. If we substitute that into the equation, um, we get minus 16 kilonewton meters. Okay, so now let's look at section BC. And if we put x dash equals two into our bending moment equation here, we get 2 squared is 4, so 4 times 4 is 16, minus 16, so we're at the same point here, uh, at point B, the same moment that we got for point B from the equation in section AB, right, which is correct because we have no um, moment, externally applied moment here, so there should be no step change in the moment diagram. Okay, so now um, let's put x dash equal to zero for NC, and of course our bending moment there uh, will be zero. Before we draw the bending moment diagram, um, let's consider the fact that uh, our bending moment equation here is a quadratic equation. Um, and if we look at um, the way it's going to go, whether it's going to be a quadratic equation that goes, a parabola that goes like this, or whether it goes down like this. Um, let's have a look at some intermediate values. So let's say we put in um, x equals 1 into this equation. We would have 12 times 1 is 12, minus 4 times 1 is 4, so that would give us um, a bending moment of 8, okay, and positive. So we start off by going up, and then we can see that eventually we come down to an a negative moment. Alright, so if it's a quadratic equation we can work out where that local maximum is, so let's do that before we actually draw in the bending moment diagram. Okay, so that's our equation. Where is the, the local max and what's its value? So we know um, 
to find the, the local maximum if we differentiate. So the differential of that uh, equation where that's equal to zero will give us the value of um, the local maximum. Right, so if we do dm dx and our equation here, so differential of 12x is 12, differential of minus 4x squared is uh, minus 8x. So for dm dx to be equal to zero, we of course need x equals 12 on 8, which is 1.5 metres. So our local maximum will be at 1.5 metres from the left hand end. Alright, so let's work out what that value is. So m max local, we just need to substitute our value here that we've just calculated for x into our bending moment equation and we get a value of 9 kilonewton metres for our maximum, local maximum bending moment. All right, note also that the uh, differential of the bending moment is equal to the shear equation. Okay, so where the shear diagram crosses uh, the horizontal axis where the shear is equal to zero, that will also indicate to us where the maximum um, bending moment is. Okay, so now let's put that onto our diagram. So where the shear diagram crosses the horizontal axis uh, is 1.5 where we have our local maximum bending moment and that value was 9 kilonewton metres so now we can draw in our bending moment diagram the quadratic parabola um, for that shape. And then for section BC, again we've got um, a quadratic equation and we can plot that in like that. Okay, well that's it. I hope you found that uh, helpful and I'll see you next time. Thanks for listening. Bye.